My name is Brother Benjamin Azi. I am from Kubwa Region Hospitality Group, Nepa District. By the grace of God, I am saved. Uh, in January this year, I slept and I woke up in the morning to discover that I had a very serious pain on my left shoulder. And I have been believing God for this uh, pain to go. I have been praying and trusting God. But this night, when the man of God was praying, I lifted up my hands, and after the last amen, the pain went. Before, I could not roll this hand like this. But now, I can do it. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Amen! The miracle power of God has touched him. The problem persisted from January to tonight. Tonight, God's power touch him. He is free, healed, delivered. Amen! The next testifier, tell us your name, what the challenge was, and what the Lord has done. from Nyanya Maraba. I came to visit my mother-in-law. So a sister in Redeem Church close to their house. She has been she has been inviting me to the program. I told her that the, I don't have faith that I will be healed. The only faith I have is that God will make a way for me to have money to go for surgery. I have been in this situation now since 2009. But glory be to God as our papa was releasing this time present. I received my miracle. I cannot walk before all the way from that side to this side alone. I give God the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. I think you can see the miracle is obvious. She was walking with a crutch there. But now the Lord has healed her and she is free. From 2019, 2019, the problem had been there, but now gone. Instead of using the crutch, now she's carrying the crutch without having to use the crutch. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. See her walking. See her walking. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. She wanted to go for surgery. The Lord himself has done it. The Lord has done the surgery. No more surgery. No more surgery. Praise the Lord. Yes, it's celebration time because the power of God is at work. Check yourself. Whatever miracle you desire, the Lord has already done it. Step out in faith. Jump up in faith and come and give your testimony. Yes, the next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Faith Anyaun. I want to give God the glory. Yesterday, I was sitting at work early in the morning and I began to feel a very sharp pain. The pain started from my back to my chest. I couldn't move. It said small, small, but when I got home, I couldn't do anything. In short, I couldn't even bend myself. My husband had to bend me. I couldn't bend. Any little bend I do, I must shout. Any movement, I must shout. I couldn't use my hands. But when I came here and I was just mentioning divine connection, I said, I'm not going to go back here with my problem. And I told God that when he, if, I, if this pain disappears, I know that every other thing, every other challenge I have is gone. And I want to praise the name of the Lord. When they, after the man of God prayed, I have to go outside. I have to go and shake myself. I said, I need to know what's happening. I judge my hands. I can't move my hands. I want to appreciate God. May his name be praised in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That was an arresting pain. That we didn't allow her to do anything without agony, without pain. Tonight, the mighty power of God, with the divine connection, the Lord did it. She is free. You see her, check, check, her shaking herself, checking, and it, the whole thing is gone. God did it. Praise the Lord. Tonight, expect your own. They are still there. Don't go back home with any challenge that may be there. You may receive the miracle and come out and testify. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Okoro Esther. I want to thank God for my life. By the grace of God, I'm saved. 
as at 2017, I was having the issue of tuberculosis. God healed me of tuberculosis. Though I was admitted in the hospital undergoing treatment, but through one of the Bible studies, it was a divine connection. Through one of the Bible studies, my mom was in Abuja. I was in Kanu State, admitted in the hospital. I don't know what was going on. I wasn't really listening to the message that I, because I was undergoing treatment in Kanu Hospital. But through that uh, Monday Bible study, after the man of God prayed, he mentioned my case, and I got my healing, divine connection. I also want to thank God for just day for yesterday, I was having this serious pain in my leg, and at uh, due to one training I had, so I, I, I've never experienced that kind of pain before. So yesterday when I was at the program in my district, the pain was so severe that I tried my best. I just keep on forcing myself to stand. I said I will stand. Anyhow the pain wants me, I must stand. And then when I was going home, after the prayer of the man of God yesterday, I was going home. Though the pain did not, it reduced a little, but it did not go. But I said if I sleep this night, that was yesterday night, I want to wake up. I don't want to feel this pain again. And glory be to God, I slept and I woke up and I didn't feel the pain again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, the healer, touch her, deliver her from tuberculosis, deliver her from excruciating pain, free, free indeed. Go and enjoy your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. The next testifier, media crew, media section, get ready. We want to have some spotlighting and uh, also online testimony. After this one, we we'll switch over before we come down again. Please, quickly, next one. Praise the Lord. My name is Wolf, Wolf for David. My name is Wolf for David. I want, I want to thank God for concerning my salvation. Um, for several months now, I've been having this, several, um, this se severe pain in my chest. After the man of God prayed concerning um, healing, for now I can't really find it anymore again. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a long, long standing problem pain in the chest, the Lord has done it for him. And this great God that did it for him is doing yours also in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Let's move on to the uh, media section. We want to hear some testimonies. We have a testimony from Cross River States. And then there are testimonies from Port Harcourt River States, Sokoto, and Orozo. We begin with Cross River States. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mr. Evelyn James. I'm living at the Pomba City, a center. By God's grace, I am saved. And I was very sick. It seems on Tuesday. We are very tired. I cannot even eat. I cannot even stand. I cannot feel anything. Of the next testimony. Media crew, media section. Other testimonies coming from Port Harcourt will be on very shortly. Other testimonies coming from the social media reads as follows a sister Abba from Solid Rock in Lube region had not been able to walk the husband has just sent in a message that her, his wife after the prayer of the man of God can now walk and is now okay We're praise the Lord for Jesus. from Brother Angpa Philip, Dauda District in Guma region, Benue State. Over 10 years knee pain, gone during the program. The man of God's prayer 
has totally taken away heartburn, slight forehead headache, and a divine connection has taken place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Emmanuel Antonia, since this morning, says she's been having headache, but after the prayer of the man of God, that headache disappeared. Praise the Lord. Brother yeah. Solomon from Mina, Niger State, said before the crusade, she's been having pain in the chest. By the end of the message, the pain was totally gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David Lau Tang from Myanmar said he has been restored to the Lord and he's saved and back to the Lord Jesus Christ after the prayer for salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Abel said he had been having very strong headache but after daddy prayed the healing as he wrote was instantaneous praise the lord hallelujah amen amen are we ready here the next testifier here i hope protocol is getting ready Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what the Lord has done Praise for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Ike Wani Florence. I came from Bazango Group, Bazango District of Kubwa, Kubwa region. I want to, uh, by the grace of God, I'm saved. I want to testify what God did for me today. Having come, I was feeling very problem in my head. The head was there aching me. It has persisted for many years now, which has not allowed me to do my work in the church of God as I should. Praise the Lord. I don't even know how we managed to come here, but by God's grace, when he left me, I joined the bus that brought me here, and I really thank God. I have received my miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise and the, the miracle is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Long, long standing affliction, experience, gone gone forever in jesus name that's what divine connection does that's what the touch of heaven does the lord touch her saved her and set her free and for everyone online and all over the places wherever we are connecting believe god for your own miracle the lord will glorify his name in your life potakot is now ready let's have potakot
got healed yesterday and today she got her own healing from arthritis. The miracle power of God touched her, delivered her, set her free and that power is at work and if you are still expecting a miracle, whether you are here or you are online in any part of the world believe the God of miracle that is doing it for others you will do your own also as well in Jesus name. Amen and amen yes quickly the next one here. Tell us your name, where you come from, what the challenge was, and what God has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. If I live without testifying, I'll be an ungrateful child. My name is Matt Ayala. I come from Kubwa region, Guardian Angel District. By the grace of God, I'm saved. 2018, I was taken out of Abuja to another state to work. And in the process of that, I contacted severe asthma. In the middle of the night, I will have to call my pastor, a regional overseer, my state, a group pastor, because it's as if my breath wants to cease. I'll be in the hospital. I couldn't do without this inhaler. I've been battling with asthma. I can't do it. At times, it will be difficult for me to breathe. It will be as if I'm about to breathe my last breath. And people around me know what I've been passing through. Throughout last year, I couldn't attend weekly activity because of the issue I had once I come out. But by the grace of God, last, during in April um, program that GS came, I took my, because I was, happened to be with the youth choir, I had to be with them. And in that period, I told God, I said, you must heal me. I cannot be laboring on other children without getting my blessing. And by the grace of God, after that program, the asthma has gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, I've been battling with sleeping. I've been having sleeping issue. I can't sleep. I find it difficult to sleep in the night. It's like my morning. And as God we have it, still during that last program, I discovered when we finished with the youth in Deeper Life High School, I would go back home feeling tired and I would sleep off. I thought it was just for a short time. But by the grace of God, once it's night now, I sleep like a baby. I no longer have issue with sleeping. That's why I've come to return all the glory to Jesus that has done it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Double miracle. Sokoto is standing Asma by. gone and sleeping disorder gone. Let's move on to Sokoto now. Spotlight. Sokoto is standing by. Let's move on to Sokoto By the grace of God, I'm saved. I want to thank God for His healing upon my life. On the 4th of June, I was coming back from work and I had an accident. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I've been having weight pain and I've been limping with my left foot. But yesterday, I, when I came here, I was still limping when I came here. And I told God, please, Lord, heal me. I've been taking so many medications and at the time, I had to stop because it, it wasn't going. And 
medications were becoming too much. By the grace of God, yesterday when I went home, I was able to bend. For a long time, I've not been able to bend, to touch my feet. Even if when something, I can't pick it up. But today, by the grace of God, the limping is gone, the back pain is gone. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal. No more limping, no more pain, affliction that came from accident, effect on her, disappear. The mighty God has done it. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. The God of miracles at work. Here, in other states, other nations, power. We'll be hearing more testimonies some other time. We'll round up here. we give God the glory for what he has done. The Lord God of miracles has glorified his name. Tomorrow, remember, the program is starting at 4 p.m., 4 p.m. only tomorrow. The other days we continue at 5.30. But tomorrow, 4 p.m. Make sure you are punctual. If you are to be here or if you are to be there in your district, in your group, and all our brethren connecting online, Nigerian time, West African time, 4 p.m., that is the starting time. And you should please connect with us and stay through to the end of this program and the mighty God of heaven will connect you with your blessing, connect you to your miracle, connect you with all your heart desire, you will be blessed abundantly, your joy shall be full in Jesus' name. Let's rise up now and give God the glory for what the Lord has done. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord for the soul saved. Praise the Lord for the people healed, for the people delivered. Praise the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord. If you are online, join us in praising the Lord. From various parts of the world, join us in praising the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Magnify his name for the great things he has done, for the miracle he has wrought. Magnify the Lord. Glorify his name. Our God is good. Let's pray for the man of